Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and I think we have the sound working now. Apologize for the uh, last couple of videos. Uh, I was using my headset, and I didn't re it has a uh, button on the cord that I didn't realize was blinking. And when it blinks, it means the, uh, the, the uh, it's on pause. <laughs> uh, and when it's not blinking and it's solid, that means it's recording. So it is recording now. So. I apologize for the last couple of videos, although it was kind of nice in a way. I mean, I was watching them and the gameplay and the sound music in it. It gave me a chance to like focus in on that instead of listening on to me rambling all the time. So that was nice. So, uh, but anyway, so we're back to back to chat here. But anyway, we did some um, crafting in one of the episodes. A lot of crafting in that. Uh, you know, learning how the different the animations for the crafting and the, really gets you into it with all the you know the chemistry uh, apparatus and stuff like that. You know, like test tubes and beakers and Bunsen burners and all that stuff. And then in the second one, you have to know a little bit about chemistry too with your um, for your pets and stuff, co forming covalent bonds and things like that. Uh, you know, seeing which work and which don't work, and which create what, and, th and so forth. So as you can see on this right here, you have your pet cubator. So when you do the bonding, it creates the different types of pets, which all have different uh, abilities and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool, as long with all your uh, your potions and and whatnot that do different things. So um, so yeah, so I'm really starting to get into it. Uh, we'll just uh, get right back where we left off here. I like this one. If a king farts, is it a noble gas? <laughs> so they inject a little humor into it. So, alrighty. So let's go back out. And uh, I think we got enough. Let's just double check our... Uh... Yeah, these are our pets here. So we got a Syro. And we have a Oxito and a Bitty Potassium. And I suppose we can... I gotta figure out how to create these pets here too. Um, I know at one point I think I had this oxygen. Let me see if I can. Let's try something here. Yeah, let's try that. That way we can fill it up more. Let's see. All right, good. And then this one. So I guess we can put these in different. Put him there too. So these are supporting pets, I think, and these are. I'm not sure the difference in where you put them in the outer or the inner. I'll have to play around with them a little bit. So. Actually, I think the combinations are... Oh, okay, this is a combination here. So if we put it here, let's just... 100% damage. Let's try this right here. Let's uh, remove that there. And let's put them over here this time. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can't put them there. No, I think you have to, on the inside, you have to put them in order or something. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, it's not letting me put it in there. So apparently when you do it here, you have to put it... Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, it's blinking there, so you have to put it there. Okay. Alright, so apparently we got to do some kind of order. There's some kind of order to it. Alright, so we'll figure this out as we go along here. So, but this is definitely the combination here. So, absolute zero deals 100 damage or freezes one target for 3 seconds. Deals 65% damage, heals rule for 70% of the attack. So, that's the siph Siphon. That is him, okay. Okay. Deals 100% damage and freezes one target. That is. Okay, fall. I've got four in them. Okay, the bitty potassium, then must be the same thing there. Okay. And then this guy right here, the Syro, deals 100% damage, freezes one target for three seconds. Okay. So, Alright, so there's one other things I kind of wanted to show you. Um, I can't remember what they are now. Okay, so this is under Rube's profile here. Um, 
that's his profile here and then here are the different countries I guess we gotta go go visit different types of pedicles oh okay hold on here oh okay so this kind of shows you what we need doesn't show you exact, the exact chemicals so let's see here all right so let's try to start with him oh okay it shows the bonding formula so two fluorine orbs and a fluorine card Punching gas is capable of covalent covalent bonding. Okay, so it's a type of bond that is. Okay, uh, the hizo hydrogen inspired hizo is a serene liquid-like pedicle with a clear blue exterior to represent the colorful and beautiful life-giving substance that forms streams, lakes, and oceans in the rain. While not the most popular pedicle among the moon beings is worthy comparison. Okay, so this one requires a hizo and three hydrogen orbs. And covalent is known as covalent bonding in the chemistry world. Covalent pedicles are formed when they share electrons. Players often confuse one for another in terms of physical appearance because they look so much alike. Some of them even say they are literally identical twins. Whenever they are covalently bonded together, they achieve a stable octet configuration. These drawings for these pedicles are generally more curvaceous and fluid because their apparent elements are mostly in gas liquid from other standard conditions. Okay. Alright. Okay, Mag Magnes. Okay, these are the... Okay, I haven't really done anything. These are magnesium ones. i got to try one of these next if I can get a Magnus card. The pedicle interruption of magnesium is a yet a lightweight creature that's real-world counterpart. This boisterous, hard-headed particle cares little for opinions and is decked in equally sturdy gray color. It packs a wallop and punch despite its composition. Known as metallic bonding in the chemistry world. Metabon particles are formed by the lattice of positive metal ions electrons moving freely around them. Generally, metabond particles become stronger, more powerful, and awesome if you bond more than the same orb. So we're going to definitely try one of these. That's cool. We haven't done one of those yet. So do you. Takes after the metal sodium. Reactive metal sodium. Like most of the elements in this group, it can react aggressively with water. Despite vitality, so do I as a general nature. It can sometimes uh, nurturing being so they would thrive ever attached to its master and caring not for nitpick okay so this one uses a soda card and the sodium orbs okay let's let me go back to this one hold on here compare to that one to this one so that's a magnesium orbs and the oh and it uses the magnesium card okay so I think it depends on what card it uses oh, this is a sodium orb oh these are slightly different okay so these got the the, the yellow in them and then these right here are the solid I think these are the ones I'm collecting now. Okay. And this one is Brombra. Bromine is represented by the predical twins Brombra with uh, well as group seven elements. Bromine occurs naturally as a diatomic molecule, hence the twins. Brombrom is frequently found meddling in their bubbling collagen of noxious brews, blah 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 blah. Let's see okay, so it uses two bromine orbs and brom brom card. So we haven't gotten to this of the covalent bonding again. And so Elysium. I'm not gonna read all these. Represents calcium. Bonding formula calcium, three calciums and a CA. Okay, so we gotta look for these cards of different chemicals so we can use them to bond. Or the different elements, I mean. Okay. Cairo, I think I got one of these. Okay, yep, two nitrogen orbs and a Cairo card. I, I did one of these. It's a co covalent bonding again. Limelight. Uses calcium and oxygen. So, okay, so we definitely got to refer to all of these when we start looking for, when we start collecting more stuff. Cool. I think I did one of these. Yeah, I did do oxytel. Yep, oxygen orbs and a cardium card. And I did a nitrogen one here somewhere, I think. Lith? Oh, potassium I did. See, three lithium orbs and a lith card. Yeah, 
I did one of these. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Potassium orbs and one potassium card. Salt. Yeah, sodium chloride. Just salt, like table salt, right here. And sodium and chlorine. Okay, so these are just regular compounds and stuff. Okay, that's it there. I thought I did one, a n double nitrogen one. Yeah, maybe I did. I think I may have discovered it, but it's not in here. Okay. Let's check out the races. Moon beings, that's what we are. Drogons. Slates, that's our mechanic guy. Wisps and fear, so moon beings. So I'm not going to read the whole thing through, but that's what we are. So if you want to stop it, feel free. Drogans. I think we did hit, get a little background. A lot of our I think people in the city are Drogans or our little town there. Hydrogen atom. So if you want to read this, you can pause it. Slites, slits. Wisps. I don't think we. I don't know if we've encountered any of these guys yet. Non-metals. Okay. And finally, fears. 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 The transition metals. Nitrogen, yeah. Chlorine bromide. It's a colorless gas. Nitrogen, the colorless gas. <laughs> frozen pizzas, nuggets, peas, those frozen processed foods. So it gives a little history behind the background of nitrogen gas. Won't react with food in the packaging. <laughs> Yellow gas, probably corrosive and toxic. Drinking water and toothpaste. This helps to prevent tooth decay. Bromine, I think we did discuss this a little bit. Number of stripes three. Brown fluid. Highly toxic and corrosive fuming liquid. Smells as foul and as dangerous.
very educational stuff here. Sodium. Okay. Oxygen. is made out of that, obviously. The air that we breathe. Okay. Chlorine. Swimming pool water tastes and smells strange. It's necessary in sanitizing water. Kills bacteria. So the stripes represent the number of electron rings surrounding the atom's nucleus. Duplet, two electrons are octet, eight electrons. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's see, where was I here? Oh. Magnesium. Did I just do this one? Not sure if I did or not. No, I don't think I did. Eighth most abundant element in the Earth's crust, making up 13% of the planet's mass. Hmm. Mass. Pyrotechnics uh, and fireworks and stuff. Manufacture microelectronic components like smartphones, tablets, and digital cameras. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that. Calcium. Dairy milk, soy milk, seaweed, nuts and some vegetables like spinach. A lot of stuff on this. Two more. Lithium. Aircraft components, lithium ion batteries. Including mobile devices and all. So no lithium, no Facebook. <laughs> Isn't this yep, medicine as a mood stabilizing treatment for bipolar disorder and depression. Yeah, I remember that a lot of and I worked in human services, a lot of the clients that we had were on this. Okay. Oh jeez. Did it again. <laughs> Finally, hydrogen. Use that as in water. Need to 
That was it. Let's double check. Yep. Crafting. They didn't have that. I'm not going to go into each one of these, but each one of these. Eh, maybe I will. Real quick. each one of these in crafting recipe so far. And these are the different monsters. we haven't had yet because we have there are diff probably different areas oops okay the, the, yeah okay there we go Molotov like Molotov cocktail yeah these guys we've had Is it? All right. And these are just. Oh, these are the achievements that we got so far. Yeah. So we've got six achievements so far. And, oh, we got actually we got more down here too. Get some of these. levels of achievement process. So I think some of these we've gotten already. No, nope, we haven't gotten a lot of these. Did we get these? Oh, we've got 20 out of 42 achievements. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. So that is it. Alright, so... What do we got going now? Oops. So let's get back to the action here. Sorry for all that. I just figured I'd show you guys a lot of stuff about the game. Little things you can look up. So let's get on with our battling here. Alright, All right, let's go fight one of these guys again. See when they when they're, use their powers there, they're, they're gone for a little bit and then they regenerate. Or regenerates everything. I am getting close. Okay, cool. Close to dying here. <laughs> Alright, cool. So you got three of these. I think these are magnesium. I can't remember, but. Okay. So let's see if we can collect some more elements and stuff and. Let's, see, let's go back and fight one of these easier ones so we can have a chance to. Um, oh, maybe not. I was say, so we have a chance to heal up, so we better heal ourselves up here real quick. Oh. Oh, 
could get a card. So that's a potassium card, the K card, and it looks like some kind of a recipe. Oh, that might be a, um, not, what do you call it, a, uh, accessory type thing. Shoot! Hello? Out of uh, healing stuff. That's not good. Ooh, all my pets have died. Alright. Ooh, lots of stuff there. A couple of potassium cards. So this must be some kind of ra must be random. Let's see how far we can go up here. I just want to see. There's a limit to how far we can go up here. Let's see. Oh, let's fight one of these guys. Oh, I oh, this might not be good. This might not be good at all. Oh, we're gonna die. We just did. No. Oh, we might survive this. Come on. Oh, good. We Come on, come on. Ooh! That was just some cool effects and everything there, but yeah, we, we don't want to be up here. We don't have any healing potions left. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's try to be careful here. Careful, careful. No, no, no! Okay, I think we can survive that guy, but... Ooh! That was a little too close for comfort. Let's see what we have in our inventory here. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are out of those. So we're gonna definitely need to do some more crafting here. More healing potions. Uh, yes. Yep. So let's craft up so, some more healing potions. All right, cool. So let's craft. So we're going to check our funds, too, and see if we can buy some of these recipes. Let's see what that does for us. So, yeah. So, I don't think it really matters how many we put in here. Yeah, because these ones are all the same. Strength, anyway. It doesn't matter if we do them well or... Yeah, accuracy isn't that important with this. I don't think not with this uh, healing potion, but some of the other ones, accuracy is important. It gives it you get a higher quality of the item, or even sometimes even a different item with a better stats on it. It does the same thing, but it's the better quality version of it. Because even sometimes too, when you're pouring this stuff in, you want to get like right at a hundred. Because if you get too far above it, it'll create either an inferior solution. See, like right here, you want to stop it. Because sometimes if you go over it with the other stuff, it'll appear red up here. And it will uh, be an inferior quality. Or if you have less than it, probably it's uh, a weaker version of it too. So, but with this, it's not that uh, big deal with, with this healing potion. Because you don't really, there's, uh, at least with this one, there's not a quality control thing on it. Ooh. See, it turned red, and that would normally be bad with other stuff, but in this one it's not so bad. Because I think you just get the same type of healing potion as you would 800. Yeah, 3 middling cord cordial. Alright. So as you can see, you just uh, the middling ones, you, you get all the same ones, no matter what the quality. But this one, if you do it really good, you get this get a special 55 point accuracy buff this one's 28 for the middle one 
and then this one right here is the uh, is for a weak one. So big difference between the three type for, as far as quality goes. And then this one, same thing here. 50% defense as opposed to 10%. So that's quite significant there. So I may do some crafting and stuff off camera, so you guys don't have to see all this. And then, um, then go out and do some grinding, and then I want to do something different or get to a different area. I might just rejoin it, but for now I'm just kind of probably um, so you guys don't have to see the same stuff over and over again. Um, so all right, so thank you for joining me. This has been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, and we will see you in the next. Oops. Chem Caper videos. Thank you for joining me. God bless. Bye bye.